good morning. I do not know who is even awake at this hour. <clears throat> I'm not going to be looking at my phone because I'm driving and I'm trying to be safe. Don't worry, I'm in a holder. My phone's in a holder. Um, <clears throat> I was just, I'm on my way to pick up a couple of girlfriends uh, from the airport. This week is going to be a really big week uh, for my health coaching business and really just for my internal heart just to be lifted up. Our community is really good about um, personal development and filling you up and all that kind of stuff. And so I've been in the car and I've been listening to some sermons and just looking out at how beautiful this area is um, that we moved to a year ago. And California is beautiful too. But you know, God shows up in the little and in the big. And I, I don't know who needs this, but um, I definitely did. You know, life is hard. Life can be really hard. And I, I think a lot of people are experiencing hard. I would call that under spiritual attack. If you're not a believer, you may not know what that is, but there's a lot coming at us. And so if you feel heavy or, um, you know, that, that things are just against you, I want to encourage you, reach out to someone that has a faith in the Lord. You may not be a believer at all. That's okay. I think there's a couple of things that will happen if you reach out to someone that you know that's a believer. One, hopefully the advice that they are going to give you is less human. Like, for example, my human reaction, if you tell me a story, might be like, screw them, you're totally right. But my faith reaction might be like, hold on, step back. What are they going through? You know, is Satan just using this person to try to derail you? Like, what is the peace that you can own? Can you pray for them? Can you? And, and really, faith is so much about releasing. We don't need to give the judgment or give the last say. It's really giving it to God. And he wants to talk to you, you guys. He wants to talk to you. And it's usually in a little whisper. It's usually when you go to sleep. It's usually when you see the clock at the same time of day. It's how that random person reaches out to you to tell you they love you that you haven't heard from in seven years. Whatever. I just want to encourage you to stop and pause a little bit in your day. Somehow, uh, we have this badge in America of like busyness. Busyness is somehow like productive. Not really. Busyness is a heavy distraction. All of us from the very, very successful to the non-successful, we need to carve out time for ourselves and this busyness does not serve us. You know, we just got back from um, Eastern Europe, which I'd never been to that part of the country and they literally work enough to enjoy life. It's a completely different philosophy from us. It's very interesting. People are out biking all the time. They're being together. They're in community. I think there's something to be said for that. So, you know, I, I just really, really want to encourage you there. There is no other purpose for you being on this planet than to live your life for the Lord and to share that with other people. And if you're like, she is wackadoodle, yeah, maybe I am a little wackadoodle. Um, that's not what the world tells you. The world tells you, you know, the goal is to get a big house and a fancy car. <gasps> By the way, I just saw 10 brand new Corvettes on one of these semi trucks. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> I know, squirrel. But that is actually not the purpose of life. It's not to have the fancy car or the fancy purse or whatever. The purpose of life is really to learn and, and to reflect and try to become as Christ- As it reported ahead. Eyes up. This could be a trap. Okay. I use the Waze app, and if you don't use it, you should for traveling. It'll tell you if there's an accident or something on the road or a police officer, and you can change the voice. So you can't be Santa Claus. Right now, it's some character from some video game that the boys like, and it sounds like a military guy, so sorry about that. <laughs> Um, but it does make me laugh. But really, the purpose of life is for us to continually improve. And it's not, being a believer is not a check. It's not like, oh, did you do this today? Did you do that? God doesn't keep score. That's not how this works. Um, he loves you. He loves you so much. It does It does not matter what you have done. I, I have messed up. I've done some really stupid things. Um, God loves you. There is nothing, nothing, nothing that you could ever do 
that would make him not love you, just so you know. Um, and you need to shine that, that little bit that you know that God loves you to someone else. People are really, really hurting. I try to use social media as much as I can to be positive. You guys, my life is not perfect. I, I have some really, really rough days. I've had the hardest almost year and a half of my life that I've ever had, but I choose joy. I choose to get on here and decide to be positive. So I want to encourage you, you being positive or you biting your tongue and not telling someone off, even though they deserve it, will go a really, really long way. So go be the sunshine. Somebody needs that sunshine today, okay?